Okay, listen up. This is the big one. We'll approach the global oil refinery at NAV 2. Via the runway at NAV 1. I expect we'll encounter perimeter ground defenses around the runway. Our first job will be to eliminate these defenses, and then the runway itself. Our main objective is still to bomb that refinery. Watch for enemy patrols and double A. I don't know what to expect anymore, but it probably won't be as easy as Walter said. So watch out. You're on my wing. Any questions? Then be careful up there. Dismissed.
Caution, caution. Hands up, Bard, you're about to buy the farm! Caution, caution.
Commander, I told you we couldn't trust Walters. We fly four missions for the lousy bum. And he sends us up every time without a clue as to what we're facing. Sending us after the wrong ship. Now that's not too bad. But not telling us about the F-15s. That nearly got us killed. Misinformation or not, Travis. I'm on my way to collect our payment. And that, I hope, will be the last we see of Philip Walters. Walters, you'd better have a damn good reason for feeding us bad intelligence. And you'd better spill it fast. I find that recently I have much less patience with employers who try to cheat us. Look, the objective of your operation was not to destroy G.O. Transworld wants them intact for an LBO. We needed your squadron to stop G.O.'s concurrent negotiations with Pegasus Oil by staging the attacks and blaming them on Pegasus. You see, if Pegasus backs out, TWP will get a better deal on the buyout. Your politics are none of my concern, Walters. But keeping my people alive is. Why didn't you warn us about Global's F-15s? I was just tying up loose ends. You and your men were expendable. Nothing personal, Commander. Just good business. But I know you're an animal, so rough me up if it makes you feel better. That's Prideau's style, not mine, Walters. I'm gonna do worse than that. In fact, I have to be going now. I have an appointment with your CEO. Catch you later, Phil.